suppose instead of digging digging up um, um, three meters of lunar regolith, suppose I just put a solar panels on the surface. You can work out how much energy you so, so you take a column of, of a lunar regolith, one square meter at the surface by three meters deep. You can work out how much energy you would get, assuming you could extract all the helium three with 100 percent efficiency uh, and, and ship that to the Earth with 100 percent efficiency and put it into a reactor with 100 percent efficiency. Uh, work out how much energy you get out of that compared to how much energy just falls on that one square meter of lunar surface from the sun without having to dig it up at all. And the answer is those energies become equal after about one and a half years. Mm. So, so, but but of course the sunlight's always shining. So once you've dug up this column of a square meter to three meters depth and extracted the helium three from it, then it's gone. It's not a it's not a renewable resource. If you just put solar panels on that square meter of surface, after a year and a half, you'd have collected all the energy that you you'd get from the helium three below it. So then you might ask yourself that maybe it's just going to be easier to set up these solar panels and then collect this, the energy from, from, from sunlight. 